Hi everybody, my name is Mary and I'm the librarian at the Gwynn Library at the Hatfield Marine Science Center. We're so happy you could join us today for some stories from our collection. Today I'm going to read What is a Scientist? by Barbara Lean, illustrated and photographed by Carol Krauss. A scientist is a person who asks questions and tries different ways to answer them. Hannah wonders about fruits and vegetables. Are there this many peas in every pea pod? A scientist learns from her senses. Cammie and Tiara play with a mixture of water and cornstarch. They try to decide if it is liquid or solid. When I squeeze it, it feels like a solid, but it drips like a liquid, observes Tiara. A scientist noticed details. Nate examines seeds inside vegetables. There are actually two kinds of seeds in the cucumber. The small ones are clear, discovers Nate. A scientist draws what she sees. Samantha shows how two liquids mix. The red drops beat it up inside the yellow liquid, observes Samantha. A scientist writes about what happens. Tim records his observation. The checker and the pencil landed at the same time, but not the feather, writes Tim. A scientist makes comparisons by measuring. Amelia and Corey are measuring weights with the balance scale. Amelia, this side of the balance is higher because it is lighter, demonstrates Corey. A scientist must count exactly. Emily and Stuart count how many drops of water they can fit on a penny. We've put 23 drops of water so far, says Emily. A scientist looks at objects carefully to decide how to sort. Zoe and her group organize the shoes and boots in different ways. You guys, I think this boot is longer, decides Zoe. A scientist designs experiments to test predictions. Jesse plants seeds at the top of one cup and the bottom of another. I think the seeds that I planted at the top will grow better than the seeds at the bottom, predicts Jesse. A scientist experiments by trial and error. Nick uses a foam meat tray to make a flying object. I added a blob of clay and some paper clips on the front and now my meat tray flies a lot farther, explains Nick. A scientist thinks logically. Shivani explains how she learned about the compass directions. When I ride home at the end of the day, the sun is going down over there, so that must be west, figures Shivani. A scientist keeps trying over and over. Charlie and Stuart try to build a tower as tall as possible. Stuart, we finally got more than 10 to stay on, shouts Charlie. A scientist has fun. Jeff and Teresa experiment with water. Let's see if we can fill up the tube through these holes, suggests Jeff. A scientist is a person who asks questions, learns from her senses, notices details, draws, writes, measures, counts, sorts, tests predictions, experiments, thinks logically, keeps trying, and has fun. That's what a scientist is. The end.